Hey guys, welcome to the vault. We're back with some more exclusive content. Uh, Jason, Ariel, Leon, and Pierre here. Now we're here to bring you guys another episode of Keepers, Sleepers, and Weepers. Hope you guys enjoyed. Pierre, take it away. It's time, man. We uh, well, we we did Keepers, Sleepers, Weepers last week, but we took a week off from this week in caps. But we're back and better than ever. We got a snapback guy here. He's on mute. I'm not sure why he's on mute. Must be some kids yelling in the background or something. Oh no, I ain't no kid. Yeah, I didn't notice it. You might want to turn your volume up there, Ariel. Like, you're usually a loud mouth, but we can't even hear you right now. You can't hear nothing that I'm saying? No, I can hear now, but it's a little quieter than usual. Oh, we're, we're, I, I got my ass kicked in laser tag. I'm trying to recover, get my breath back. I mean, it's been a lot. I had to hightail it here. I jumped over a median. I mean, it's a lot of stuff going on. Oh, wow. Okay, all right. As long as we can hear all the fantastic things you're going to share with us today. But without further ado, Leon, let's get started here. All right, let's do it. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Energy, I love you. Canadian dad bod, I love you. But this screams mustard ketchup, please. The Hulkamania is not running wild on you with this one. I mean, I can see high hardcore wrestling fans wearing this hat at um at, at uh WrestleMania, but outside <laughs> of WrestleMania, do not wear this hat, please. At all, save the ketchup and mustard. Wow! All right. Well, jumping over that median made you a little cranky. Let's uh, <laughs> let's move, let's move on here to Leon. Leon, your weeper of the week. All right. Uh, in a yeah. pinch, you can always find a weeper on Fanatics, and uh, mm-hmm. <clears throat> this is uh, I went uh, to Fanatics.com, sort by new. This BD was about uh, six hats in. Um, walnut teal. It's already on sale, so I mean, if you really. If this fits your fancy, uh, you can get it for 32 bucks. But yeah, Fanatics, uh, home of the No Soul hats, No Soul Corporation. Um, this is just, I don't know, terrible. Man, it's not teal, though. That's mint. Mint. Right? Yeah. You always get the teal mixed up. <laughs> I'm probably colorblind. Maybe. It this might is be. This they might. The sweatshirt that uh, Snapback God's wearing. Yeah. It, yeah, it does. It does. But they should never blackface the bird, ever. No, fair enough. No, no, no. And Leon, I'm going to challenge you for mm-hmm. next week no to find a weeper that's not fanatics. Yeah, yeah. I was in. I was in a time crunch today. <laughs> um, I'll search harder next week, though. Okay. Time crunch. What were you doing today? Um, we'll cover it in my sleeper section. Oh, okay. Good. So he was sleeping. Is what? No, 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 no. I was awake. I was awake. So Leon sleeper is him. Uh, why? <laughs> Why? Yeah, this thing's pretty terrible. They uh they took the worst logo, you know, second worst logo, and decided to say, "Hold my beer, we can make it worse." If you're like, saying that the that the running red man is worse than this, you're crazy. Red legs is worse than this. That's um, ridiculous. But uh, these colors are just. Uh, it was this was an instant weeper for me. I sent it right over to Leon as soon as it dropped. I'm like, <laughs> nothing's going to top this one. This thing is pretty bad. Yeah. All right, well, it's like a big that, booger. What? It's like a big booger. If your buggers are blue, call no, the, the fucking green doctor. part. The green part. Oh, green. okay. All right, just the if green they're part. that color green, call the doctor. Yeah, yeah. random purple. <laughs> on it too. But all right, moving on. Hmm. You know, listen, man, I, I, I have one dinner plate met that I think is good, and it's from uh, Edge. But this hat, to me, it's just, I don't know, man. It's just, like, bad. I, I, don't, I don't like anything about this hat. I think that logo's obnoxiously big. Um, you know, there's worse hats out there, honestly, but this one just caught my eye because it's just an ugly hat. It's just, like, there's no two ways about it. It's just ugly. You know, it's not like it's egregiously bad. But it's just ugly. Like who? Like I don't know why anyone would want to buy this thing. If it was would you buy normal, this thing? If it was the normal size logo, I, I would think about it. Yeah, but it's, it's dinner- so it looks so abnormal. It looks like yeah, the side patch in the front logo is so big that it just even the side patch is huge. It's meant to be that big, but it looks so weird together. It just looks like a like an error. Like someone just said, "Hey, I want to put some patches on these hats." <laughs> Yeah, like they some iron them on or something. Yeah, they iron these big ass patches on the hats. If your logo is this large, call the doctor. 
<laughs> well, the only thing worse than the logo on the front of the hat is the one on the bottom of the screen, ecapsunlimited.com's <laughs> logo is probably the worst it's, logo in the game. It's, it's like, not even a logo. It, but it's like, why would you – listen, uh, before we move on, right, like why would, why would that be your logo? Yeah, not for a hat company. Maybe for some taxes, but not, <laughs> not, not <laughs> this, this is yeah, not, like yeah. maybe for yeah, you're right. Maybe I mean, for, they like, didn't even change the font. This is Times New Roman. It is. No, this is tax preparer. Like this is tax preparer. That's the yeah. that's the name of the that's the name of the uh the the font. It's it's just it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. But the hat isn't good either. It's not. Listen, man, it is getting harder to find weepers, and I didn't want to keep going fanatics and in in uh you know. What's that other one that's out in Australia? Culture Kings. Culture Kings. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't want to go there. I mean, it's just too easy. This, this is still a bad hat. All right. Okay. Now it's time to move into our sleepers. Now, I will say as we move into sleepers, there's a lot more sleepers out there now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, listen, I'm going to nominate the hats that I just designed that came out as a shock <laughs> on Tuesday from Pro Image Sports Colorado. The Blink-182. The Limp Biscuit and the Corn Hat. These hats are right now available. And, man, I'm telling you right now, they're beautiful in hand. And, you guys, if you're Padres, Yankees, or Dodgers fans, you need to go and get one. Limp so, Biscuit. You're, did you watch? Did you listen to a lot of Limp Biscuit? Oh, my God. That rolling, era, rolling, rolling. That, um, yeah. I did it all for the nookie. Yeah. I didn't like that, 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 that album that you're talking about, Jason, where Roland was on. I like the one that had End Together now. Uh, that was the. That's where the uh, new era flawless cap made its uh, real big debut on screen, right? Mm-hmm. That was a song with uh, Fred Durst and Method Man. But that flawless cap, it made me want to buy a flawless cap. Seeing Fred Durst wear it, but not a Yankees one. When I saw Fred Durst wear this red Yankee hat, I got a remix. It finally got the opportunity. I gave it that navy blue brim instead of being an all red hat. Mm. Mm. Okay, so. Did, when you signed the paperwork to join the views from the vault, did you not see the limit self promotion section? <laughs> I didn't. I, um, uh, you must have read right through that one. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> my, my lawyers, my lawyers didn't let me know. They didn't yeah, one, that thing, one. Oh, one no. thing we don't do is like we've never put our own hats up here. I don't think uh, well, we might yeah. put each other's hats up here, maybe, but yeah, usually never our own. See, so right. now you now because you guys opened that can of worms, I'm gonna see a bunch of comments saying, Ha ha, snap yeah. one of his own hats. What a loser! It's well, at the snapback god on Instagram. It's so okay, sure it's okay. You you're hear. trying to redefine things, Ariel. It's okay, man. I understand. You're trying to you're trying to like be a pioneer in this new space, and, and I appreciate that. Uh let's see. Let's I, I mean, I didn't make my, my hat to a keeper. I made it a sleeper. (laughs) I didn't put my hat number one in the top 25 list. Oh, I saw your top 25. There wasn't a lot of room for anybody else's hats besides your own. No, no, I didn't put my hat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Put your own hats on that list. I didn't put my hat on the top 25. 19 of those 25 hats were his. (laughs) No, no, no. They all came out in the last three weeks. All right. Well, let's move on to uh, Leon's sleeper of the week. All right, Ariel, don't worry. I got your back because um, since we're on self promotion day, um, oh, I Jesus. put uh, the catfologist. Um, we have yeah, a new section. Like a paid advertisement for the for the employees of Use the Vault. Yeah. Ah. So uh, don't worry, Ariel. I got your back. So Tony and I um, have finally figured out our um, allocation problem. So that means that we will be clearing out some of our old stock. A lot of this stuff is uh, stock that was claimed by previous people who've never mm-hmm. paid me or. You know, forgot about or whatever. Some of it's unreleased. Some of it even came out before our website even launched. So uh, we're going to have a steal of the day section. Uh, a lot of hats start at $24, $21 with shipping. Comes with a free pin. Um, once they're gone, they're gone. So, uh, yeah, that's my sleeper of the week. Yes, Lord. All right. Jesus. I might have to change my sleeper then to something that I did. <laughs> Shop, shop.hatcaller.com, everyone. <laughs> Ooh, uh, this, one's coming out, this one's on the way to my house right now. The Black Ooh. Pearl from Anthem Shop. Uh, mm-hmm. Probably the only way to black out an entire logo. Um, but uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. This this hat really shouldn't work, but it does. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I really like it. 
And at time of press, it was, uh, I think there was only like one size gone. So yeah. um, go out and grab this one. Support Dan. Um, oh, Canada. That's a good hat, man. Great hat. Ariel, you like a good pearl necklace. Do you like this? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> if your pearl yeah, necklace no, no, is black, a, call the doctor. A, I, I was looking at this hat like really hard and I was like, pause and i was like <laughs> i i must get i'm gonna i'm thinking about getting it but yeah this is a beautiful hat great job yeah. yeah hey what size are you ariel i don't know if we ever discussed that he's your size three eighths yep oh, okay yeah well i couldn't put my own hats as a sleeper because they always sell out so what i decided to do <laughs> was uh <laughs> oh, wow wow you got the biggest following Wow! Listen, I'm just I'm I'm working just on it. Working on it. I'm, Everybody I'm trying to go in on the comments right now. Now's the time to comment. I just wanted. I just. I just was thinking. That, you know, I was preparing my line, and that's the first thing that came to mind. But my my sleeper of the week is it's the only one that sold out. Is actually, I think, the worst hat. Of the four pack. This came out from Sneaker Town in collaboration with Five Six One Fitted. It's an anime inspired pack. Um, if you want more details, go check the reel on my uh, on my Instagram. Or I think I, I think I put it in the YouTube as well. Um, but the only one that sold out here is the Astros. The other three are sitting in size runs. And I got to tell you, man, they're solid hats. The two standouts are the Marlins and the Rays, to be honest with you. Um, you take a look at these in hand, and they're, they're impressive. The Marlins has a lot of metallic. Very nice pack. Nice job, Sneaker Town. Nice job, 561 Fitteds. Um, really, really nice hats. And that's my Sleeper of the Week. And now we're going to move on to Snapback guy and his uh, self-proclaimed keepers of the week that are probably uh, don't have. I just, I just want to know how Leon and, and Snap Ariel feel about getting dirt in their face because they just got buried. I, I was just. Yeah, I know. I know. But this one is going to make it up. This keeper from <laughs> Clark Street Sports and Rare Fitteds. Beautiful hat. Black corduroy. The metallic is shining everywhere on the, on the front logo and side patch. I love it. I'm I'm lucky to be one of the 42 people that will have this hat. There is more than 42 of these. Well, I mean, they had their friends and family, right? And then 42 for the online people. Are the friends and family people? Yeah, the friends and family are people. Yeah, so they're probably, yeah. well, yeah. you know. So more than 42. Yeah, well, yeah, well, okay, fine. <laughs> I'm 42. Uh, I'm one of the 42 that's not a friend in the family. <laughs> well, I'm one of the whatever number was a uh, friend and family. You're the friend. <laughs> yeah. you're, uh, same, you're, you're, he has to have, we have to give him the hat. Same, same here. <laughs> okay. All is number 40. Okay, fine. <laughs> Leon, Leon was Leon, too. Leon, you have one <laughs> Leon, do you have one of those hats as well? Uh, no, I passed on it. One out of 45. <laughs> Christmas kicked yeah. my ass this year. Yeah, he, he he passed on it, but he was offered it. And no, then, was like, poor Ariel, man. He rushed I, on. People in the comments say, I got one, too, and I got one, too. <laughs> There's going to be more than 42 people that answered the comments. 75 at the end. <laughs> There'll be more than 42 people that answer they have it in the comments, I bet. Okay. All right. Well, uh, uh, let's move on to your second keeper, uh, Snap. The U-Haul pack, I mean, John Jay did, he must have stopped, I don't know how many U-Haul trucks on the side of the highway. <laughs> in inspiration. The Arizona Diamondbacks, it was amazing. Uh, I hope I get, I'm able to get that one in the store. The Colorados is coming home because of the website. Thank you very much, John Jay. Uh, I'm, I don't think he really had to stop a U-Haul. I mean, usually you can just snap a picture. While he's you driving, know, you can it, actually right? probably just Google search. Yeah, just Google. Oh, There's yeah, he link could, on the U-Haul that, website yeah. that shows you all the logos that these are inspired by. It would have been better. The story is better if, if <laughs> he's yeah. or maybe maybe he just kept running U-Hauls until he got different ones. He's driving on the turnpike and he just sees these U-Hauls. He's like, "Hey, stop!" He went to a truck stop or something. He saw a family <laughs> there trying to. He had to help a family change the tire of the U-Haul truck in the side. Yeah. Of the they were going to Arizona. Listen, poor snapback guy. He rushed to get home, right? And he's been getting nothing but washed this entire Man. show. <laughs> I got destroyed in laser tag, and now I'm getting destroyed on the show. You know what it is, man? We missed you, I think. I missed you, man. You know? I haven't been at I it. Said, when's the last time we recorded together? I told my wife, I said, listen, all week is yours. 
But Friday, nine o'clock, it's my time. I have the room to myself. I have the master bedroom to myself. Thank you. Too much info. <laughs> um, <laughs> it, it's been it's been like eight or this nine. Guy, days this guy said he's looking at things hard. He likes pearl necklaces. He's talking about Friday night at tw- <laughs> at nine p.m. The master bedroom is his. I can only imagine what this is about. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay, great. This is a great thing. <laughs> um, I'm going to highlight the uh, Lids Hat Drop, the Black Olive. If I were to um, pick one of them, um, I'm liking the Baltimore Orioles, but they did a great job. You know, I picked on Fanatics a little bit for their colorway, uh, soulless um, brown teal hat, but uh, Lids, Lids Hat Drop's been doing a good job with the colors lately, so I'm going to shine a light on the Black Olive collection. I thought it was a good Good little pack they dropped there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Second keeper of the week comes from Topper Store. Um, this one vaguely reminds me a little bit of that um, Venom um, hat that uh, my fitted dropped John Jay last year. But uh, this is a really slick Seattle silver blue um, black hat with a blue under. Huh. Um, Patch just dropping nonstop. Good stuff throughout the week. And I think this was one of the better hats of the week he dropped. Beautiful. Mm. Jason? Oh, did it change? Okay. Yep. I, I'm yeah. lagging here or something. Uh, I'm taking this uh, Astros uh, two-tone corduroy visor from uh, Still. Uh, I, I don't know. I just really like the colorways. I like the uh, treatment he did on the logo and the side patch. Um Oh, little, little past fall, but still a great fall hat. Um, yeah, just I, I just really like this one. Mm-hmm. Not crazy, just does no. the job. Great, great choice. Yeah. And then uh, my uh, second keeper of the week is from Ronnie and uh, Caps Boise or Pro Image Boise. Um, I can't remember the inspiration. Some sort of uh, anime. I don't care. Uh, I like the colors a lot in that block S. You know me. That's going to win every single time. So great job, Ronnie. Uh, good hat. Yeah, that's a good hat. That's the Super Rose. Okay. Yeah, All anime right, just <laughs> flies right over my head. There's I, a lot of anime hooks now, though, a lot. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of anime. And so apparently a lot of fans of anime, too. So mm-hmm. Good stuff. Good thing. Yeah. All right, my keepers of the week. The first one comes from Fan Treasures. Um, everyone is spamming that 1990 All Star Game patch. They went with the Wrigley Field patch here, but this hat sports that like peanut brown, that gray metallic in the Cub logo. It's just a really beautiful hat. This hat's super well done. Um, I actually, I don't know, it was a nice refreshing change from that 1990 All Star All Star Game patch. Um, John Demaria and team over at Fan Treasures by Pro Image did a fantastic job here. That's my first keeper of the week, and my second keeper of the week is uh, this St. Louis cap from Toppers. This two-tone beauty uh, is just, like, absolutely fantastic. Um, Side patch is great with that 1944 uh, World Series uh, side patch. Just really, really nice hat. Um, Again, another clean, clean um, cap coming out of Austria. Nice job, Pat. Nice job, John Demaria. Two fantastic keepers this week. And with that, guys, that brings us to a close. But you're, you're, the re- you're the reason I couldn't pick that hat. Thanks. Eight, ama- eight, ama- eight amazing keepers. Oh, look at Ariel's on here. Yeah. And Jason, mm-hmm. just to be clear, I'm not the reason. My speed. <laughs> no, you're my, the reason. My, my intense he speed. T- turns in his homework quicker. I'm up a little earlier than you guys. So. Way, way, way earlier. Yeah, way earlier. You wake up to messages from me almost every day, don't you, Snap? I'm like, <laughs> what is going on? It's 5.59 in the morning. No, that's not when the message happened. The message happened at like 5.15 in the morning. Oh, okay. I want to be clear, Snap. We do things a little differently here on Views of the Wall. We're not like, uh, we're not like some, some bootleg podcast that just kind of wakes up middle of the day and just you know slap shit together. I'm no. not involved in any, in any, in any, in any <laughs> I don't know. 
I don't know who that was to, and I don't want to know. <laughs> you know, we don't just we don't just roll out of bed around like you know one o'clock and just hope this shit works. I'm working around the clock, snap. Yeah, you're right. right. What are you laughing at, man? What you, you think this is a well, shot at someone? I'm just saying we're not. I don't, I, yeah, I mean, obviously there are people that probably just wake up at one o'clock in the afternoon and do a podcast at one fifteen. There's probably are out there in the world, you know. Probably are. I wasn't picking on anyone specifically. Oh, okay, thank you. You know, hmm. why do you know of one that did you well, have? I a, don't know <laughs> it. I don't. Yeah, who you want to shut up? Snap. No. Yeah, well, yeah. What, who are you afraid I'm calling out? Logan Paul. Uh, Logan Paul. Yeah. What? 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 Jason. You're you're calling out Ariel. That's what he does. He wakes up at like two or three in the afternoon. You right. record <laughs> something. I do. Goes up. back to and grabs go, a sandwich. I, I, goes back to sleep. I go to, I go to bed at five in the morning because Leon. I'm Leon, Leon has been back to his weird schedule though. Leon's been back to his uh, sleeping all all day schedule. I'm working mm-hmm. all night. I'm editing. I'm doing a bunch of things for the world. And I, and, I, and I go to sleep at 5 in the morning. Hey, man, I like to wake up at 1 in p.m. All yeah, right. Not, listen, it seems like a healthy schedule. <laughs> it's not. It's not recommended <laughs> by most physicians. <laughs> it might be why you're running over medians trying to drive home. <laughs> That's probably the reason. All right, guys. This is a good show. Another nice addition to the Keeper Sleepers Weepers. Um playlist but with that leon big fella take us away yeah make sure you guys are dropping a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already uh views from the get your official merch from us for for ariel jason leon and pierre we're signing out guys stay fitted see everybody peace brought to you by vftv